Ice cream dreams. Today was the day SpongeBob had been waiting for all for all his life. It was finally opening day at the Cutty Crab too. SpongeBob had good reason to be excited. He was sure Mr. Krabs was going to make him manager of the new restaurant. There was no one better for the job. After all, SpongeBob had been employed of the month at the Krusty Krab 374 times in a row. I'm ready, he said proudly. Promotion. SpongeBob spent extra time dressing for work that morning. Clean her Linus is next to manager Linus, he declared as he strained his square pants and went to work. The opening of the Krusty Krab tip was big news in Bikini Bottom. Before we begin with the ribbon carny, I'd like to introduce our new manager, Mr. Krusty told the TV reporters. SpongeBob got ready to smile for the cameras. SpongeBob bounded bound up to the stage to expect the honor. People of Bikini Bottom, as the, as the manager of, he started to say that Mr. Krabs whispered something in his ear. Mr. Krabs hadn't said SpongeBob's name. Instead, he announced, Please welcome our new manager, Squidward Tentacles. SpongeBob was shocked. How could Mr. Krabs do this to him? Mr. Krabs explained that he didn't think SpongeBob was ready for the job. You're just a kid, he said. To be a manager, you have to be a man. Otherwise, they call it kidnapper. You understand, don't you? SpongeBob did not understand. He didn't like being called a kid. There would be no celebrating tonight. SpongeBob just wanted to go home and be alone in his pineapple. Aww. On his way home, SpongeBob stopped at the Goofy Goober's party, boat down to drown his sorrows. Patrick was there. Patrick loved hearing the Goofy Goober say, Oh, I'm a Goofy Goober, yeah. You're a Goofy Goober, yeah. We're all Goofy Goober, yeah. The dancing peanut chanted. Even the Goofy Goober song wasn't enough to cheer SpongeBob. Nothing could make him happy until Patrick ordered some ice cream. A trip. Triple Goop for Sunrise, huh? SpongeBob thought. I guess I could use one of those, he said aloud. Slut, splatter, yum! SpongeBob looked down a whole Sunday. That hit the spot. I'm feeling better already. Once SpongeBob got started eating Triple Goop for Berry Sunrises, he couldn't stop. Neither could Patrick. Chomp, chomp, slip, slip. In a matter of seconds, they eat two more, and they weren't finished yet. <sighs> Woohoo! SpongeBob called out. Waiter! He held up two fingers. Why do I always get the goofy ones? The waiter wondered a lot as he made two more triple goopers berry sunrises. Oh, that ice cream was making SpongeBob really silly. This one goes out to my best to my bestest friends in the whole world. SpongeBob announced, "Patrick and this peanut guy." It's a little song called "Waiter." Patrick, SpongeBob, and Patrick sang together. Their waiter kept the triple gooper berry, berry for sunrises coming all night long until SpongeBob and Patrick fell asleep. The first thing SpongeBob wanted when he woke up in the morning was a double foot spinny. A triple 
group of very sunrise just there's here with a breakfast food. After eating his Sunday, SpongeBob headed off for another day of work at the Crispy Crab. The whole way there, he thought about how angry he was at Mr. Krabs for giving the manager job to Squidward. But Mr. Krabs had bigger troubles on his mind. King Neptune had paid him a visit. He believed Mr. Krabs had stolen his crab and sold it to the Shell City. It wasn't true, of course. But King Neptune didn't care. He was ready to cook with the crabs, unless someone was someone was man enough to go to the Shell Shore City. Let's get a crab and find out who the, the real thief was. SpongeBob was the first to volunteer. He would save Mr. Krabs' life. The world. To show city is the most dangerous journey of all, the king warned. What chance will you have? You're just a kid. I know I can't do it, Spongebob bowed. Let's go get that crown, Pat, Spongebob. Spongebob knew in his spongy heart that he could be a brave man and a in manager. The End.